Ian, uh, which is your opinion about the imminent future of the political uh, scene as seen with the eyes of the of a ordinary science fiction author and the extraordinary science fiction author, as both you are. Mm. <clears throat> well, I think that the ordinary viewpoint upon the future ought to be that it will be a Chinese future, because uh, the Chinese have the wealth, power, intention, and long-term planning ability uh, to uh, go into space, exploit the asteroids industrially, uh, colonize them without uh, regard to possible risks or, or without excessive regard to risks. And the most important of these factors is uh, the ability for long-term planning. It, this is something which to a large extent Amer the United States lacks, uh, Britain lacks, and most countries in Europe lack because there are democratic elections every five years or so. Therefore, uh, to those who have the best long-term plans will belong the future, I think. I might add uh, that one in five human beings is Chinese. From our perspective in the West, uh, we tend to diminish the importance of China with regard to the future. We know that they own uh, billions and trillions uh, in the currencies of the uh, United States and uh, Europe, uh, but um, we don't actually feel this as part of our uh, daily living experience. Uh, it, there is the news that uh, China is recently massively accumulating gold uh, and uh, do you think they are planning something as regard to their currency? Uh, well, it is necessary to diversify your assets. Um, previously accumulating dollars, United States dollars, uh, would have been your best option. However, uh, the uh, United States dollar is fundamentally weak because of um, fundamental flaws in the United States economy and also uh, enormous amounts of its uh, currency are in fact owned by the Chinese. Uh, gold has traditionally been uh, the fundamental basis uh, of wealth uh, within a country, uh, which is slightly strange because gold does not have many uses. Uh, you can use it to coat the outside of a spacecraft for uh, thermal reasons and uh, you can make nice uh, rings and uh, jewellery but you don't actually use gold very much. It, it is a symbolic uh, a token of wealth. However, most money in the world is in fact imaginary. It is electronic money. Uh, it would be impossible to print the amount of money uh, to correspond to the electronic currencies. So in a world of a imaginary electronic currency, to have something solid uh, which you can pick up uh, is comforting. In the year 2000, the American neoconservative uh, politicians have uh, uh, redacted a famous or infamous document called um, Project for a New American Century. Uh, do you think that the future will be a unipolar future for the world like they were envisioning? Or we are going towards a multipolar world and if yes, which form could it uh, take? Mm. Uh, well, I much prefer the vision of a multipolar world. Um, I, I used to teach uh, futures studies, futurology, uh, 40 years ago, and I read American planning documents from the Hudson Institute and the Rand Corporation envisaging the future. And these were so uh, strongly subconsciously biased uh, in favor of continuity of the world as we know it, and also the, primi uh, the primary role of America, uh, that uh, they are simply invalid as ways of thinking flexibly about the future. And I think the same is true of neocon plans. Uh, the United States tends 
uh, to think of itself. Number one is America, I will come to this in a moment, and number two uh, as being the world in a sense. Uh, for example, events in America such as the um, World uh, Series in whatever sport it is, uh, the World Science Fiction Convention, the World This and That, imply that the world is basically the United States. Uh, since I have come to live in Spain, I have been training myself not to use the word America uh, to refer to the United States in any way. Because from the point of view of uh, people in Spain, uh, America refers to the complete double continent uh, where uh, uh, an enormous number of the territory is in fact occupied by people who speak Spanish uh, or Portuguese. And um, uh, to use the word America uh, in reference to the United States uh, is to uh, submit to a kind of colonialism or neo-colonialism which does not help us to think about the future very well. There are emerging nations, uh, India for example, uh, Brazil, who might actually be a spearhead of the future. Uh, and the centre of significance might switch uh, from the United States, as at present, uh, to uh, Rio de Janeiro, uh, to Delhi, and especially to China. I think this is an inevitable process, in fact, um, that any attempts to um, maintain a neocon uh, America 21st century uh, will just vanish like the uh, king who sat with his throne in the sea while uh, the waves came in. And not because he was stupid um, in his case, but to demonstrate to his flattering subjects uh, that uh, the king does not have power over everything. Um, the United States still tries to maintain uh, global power, uh, power, largely through its military and also through destabilizing regimes uh, across the world, usually with disastrous results. Uh, the disastrous results uh, were becoming apparent in Afghanistan uh, 30, 40 years ago. Uh, this is the seed of the problems nowadays. Um, when uh, global America uh, thought it would be wise to arm and create um, Muslim fundamentalist organizations uh, in order to combat the Russians during the Cold War. And they are now reaping the whirlwind from that stupidity. Likewise, the intervention in Libya, for example, to get rid of uh, Colonel Gaddafi uh, because he was a bit independent, uh, left the country without any actual viable um, government. And uh, it became uh, another prey uh, for uh, ISIS, the Islamic Republic, uh, Al-Qaeda, and so forth. So I think that basically, uh, despite enormous amounts of money spent upon projecting the future, uh, the United States' visions of the future are uh, stupid uh, and do not consider the actual consequences. They only consider what they would like the consequences to be. Yes. So you think that maybe one day we will have a uh, Eurasian center of the world? I think this is extremely likely, um, spearheaded by China. However, India might be a rival there. And the, the future rivalry uh, may be between uh, the Indian democratic world and the Chinese autocratic world with the United States on the sideline. And now a question uh, regarding um, your citizenship. Uh, you're British, so uh, what do you think about uh, Great Britain eventually leaving the, uh, the EU? 
uh, Gran Britannia, uh, will become little Britannia, very little Britannia, if it tries to separate itself from the European community. Uh, this would be a disaster uh, in financial terms for Britain, uh, but also in uh, cultural and um, oh, spiritual terms, in the sense that uh, Britain has an important role in the world out of proportion to its power uh, or wealth uh, because of being within Europe and being part of uh, a conglomeration of states uh, which are basically democratic and which are basically um, working to uh, ameliorate uh, to improve the world as a whole. Now, I have a theory, though, uh, that one of the tides uh, which is uh, pulling magnetically uh, at the silly uh, part of the British uh, population which wants to leave uh, Europe um, is connected with global warming and with the rising of the sea level. Now, <clears throat> Uh, as the sea level rises, so Britain becomes more disconnected from uh, <coughs> continental Europe. If we go back um, 30,000 years or so, uh, the sea level was much lower. Uh, the territory between uh, Britain and uh, the continent of Europe uh, was in fact all land joined together. Uh, we are now finding the traces of long uh, rivers uh, which still have left their imprint under the sea. Um, there was no distinction between Britain and uh, continental Europe. Um, in the psychogeography uh, aspect, uh, I think that the future fears of sea level rise are perhaps propelling the British population uh, to desire suicidally uh, further disconnection from Europe. Psychogeography is an important subject which not many people have uh, looked at.